long-running tasks. Today you will learn how to handle them using Nest.js. If you've managed a software engineer for a while, at some point you'll probably have to create something that can take many minutes or even hours to run. Usually, the initial approach for someone with a backend experience is to create a common HTTP endpoint on the backend app and then just run the code. However, platforms like Elastic Beanstalk suggest that if the code takes more than 500 milliseconds, then you should consider running the code asynchronously using a worker machine. Something like this. And the way that we use to communicate the web backend app, the traditional backend app, and this new worker app is to add a message queue in the middle, something like Kafka or RabbitMQ. And besides this, once the code finishes running, it's interesting to emit an event to whoever is interested in the results of the worker app. So we have the, the web backend app, which is the one that the user usually sends the HTTP request to it. And then we send the message to a, to a messaging queue, like Kafka or RabbitMQ. And then the worker app receives this message and then process whatever needs to be done asynchronously. And once the process finishes running, it emits an, a notification back to whoever is interested. Just like, for example, sending the notification back to the web backend app. Okay, great. Let's see this in action in a real code. Before we proceed, if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so we can learn more about Nest.js. And don't forget that the more you learn, the better you become and more value you can provide. So let's do this. Okay, great. So this is the project that I, that I created to demonstrate the communication between a web backend app and a worker backend app. So what we have here, this is a Nest.js project, a monorepo created from Nest.js project. And so here we have a Docker Compose file, which basically has the RabbitMQ image. And then we use the bridge network to, to communicate the both applications on my local machine. So this is the Docker Compose. And on the app side, what we have here, this is the this one, web and worker communication. This is the web backend app. So this is a traditional HTTP backend server made using Nest.js. So here we have a Nest Factory create module listening on port 3000 with a basic controller, basic module, and a service. So here we have the post method, which is the one that we're gonna call using a HTTP endpoint. We're gonna send a message to this post method which is going to arrive here. And then here, we're basically going to receive the message and then we send the message to the queue, to RabbitMQ. And the message will arrive here. And then we send the message to the queue client, which is basically a client proxy that sends the message to RabbitMQ. And then on the other side, we have the worker backend app, which is a microservice with made using Nest.js. So here we create a microservice that basically uses the RabbitMQ transport method. And then here we pass the information for the queue. And here on the controller, this is the, this is the message pattern and the function that receives the message that we're going to send from the web backend app. And here we receive the message. We do and what needs to be done. This is actually the parser because we're sending the message as a string and then it arrives here we parse the string to be an actual object and then we call this function so basically the function the message arrives here and the message is basically a simple model class that has a simple string here and some methods to parse the object to a string and from a string so here the message will arrive here and then we basically sleep for two seconds to simulate something that can take a long time to run and then we say that the process is complete and then we send a notification back to the web backend app just like we described into our diagram this one so basically we as a user we send a message using some http client to the web backend app the web backend app sends the message to rabbitmq 
And on the other side, the worker will receive the message from RabbitMQ through process, which in our case is just wait for two seconds here. And then we send the notification back using Axios to the web backend app. And this message will arrive here on the on the web backend app into this method. So we basically say, oh, now the message is done. But here you can do anything that, you, that in your case that needs to be done. As a recap, so we have the web backend app. We send a message to it. We will arrive here, the message. And then we send the message to the worker here using this method from Nest.js. And then on the other side, the message will arrive here from, from RabbitMQ. And then we just consume the message. The, the web backend app is the producer, the worker is the consumer. So we consume the message here and then we just wait for two seconds and then we notify back the web backend app that the process is complete. Okay, great. Now let's run the code and see this in action. Okay, great. So here on my terminal, I have my Docker Compose file running, which runs the RabbitMQ service. Another terminal, I have the worker backend app running and the other terminal I have the web backend app running and that's it so here on my VS code I have the thunder client which is a simple HTTP client so I'm gonna send a message to the web backend app to simulate the flow that we mentioned before so we're gonna send the message here using the thunder client the message will arrive here to, to this function here and the whole flow will run so let's see this in action so let's go back to the thunder client so i'm gonna say hello everyone this is marco speaking and then i'm gonna send a message click here so we send the message to the worker and we can see that this it already executed the whole thing this is the final process which means that the, mes the message came here, we sent the message to the worker, and here we can see that the worker received the message. Hello everyone, this is Marco speaking. And then it executed the process, which is basically waiting two seconds, and then it sent the message back to the web backend app. And that's pretty much it. This is how we can communicate a web backend app and a worker backend app asynchronously so this one it can take in my case it was just just two seconds but this this machine can run like for many minutes or even hours and this is how we communicate this kind of services that can take a long time to run and that's it you just learn how to communicate a synchronous backend app and a asynchronous backend app using a message queue in the middle If you have any doubts or would like to see me talking about another topic related to software engineering or Nest.js or just want to say what you think about this video, just leave me a comment down below. I hope you liked it and I see you in the next time.